Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 19th of 2020. Well, it is titled the sun rotating. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video that will show seven images of the sun all taken at the same time and showing how the sun rotates. Now the large image that you'll see to the left hand side is actually an ultraviolet image, which shows the chromosphere of the sun. The chromosphere is the layer right above the photosphere of the sun. The photosphere is the part of the sun that we see. So when we look at the sun, that's what we're seeing is the photosphere. And this is the area up above up above that and it's called the chromosphere is sphere of color and it emits a lot of ultraviolet light that we can see now normally it's not visible except during an eclipse when the photosphere of the sun is blocked out because the photosphere is much brighter but during that time during an eclipse or with special equipment you can actually view the uh, chromosphere of the sun. Now the second image as we look at the six images to the right the the one up in the upper left of those is the photosphere of the sun. So that's the typical region of the sun that you're used to seeing. The other five that we see are all x ray emission and our images taken by the solar dynamics observatory. So there are various different regions different x ray emissions showing x ray emission by iron atoms and showing different regions within the corona. Now as you play the video you'll get to watch the sun as it rotates and you can see various features as they move across the surface of the sun and can kind of compare and shortly you see a large sunspot group coming across the surface of the sun and starting to emerge on the left hand side and you can also see how active this is in the other regions. So you can map it up and compare that area in the ultraviolet and see how active that region is. And also, also you will see it in the x-ray section. So the x-ray images will show this as well. And you can follow it as it goes across the surface of the sun. Now sunspots occur on the sun with a relatively regular pattern and there's actually an 11 year cycle. Right now we're at a very low minimum and in fact an unusually low sit low minimum and the sun has been unusually quiet for the last few years. Now you'll see that sunspot is now just disappearing off the edge of the screen and if we watch for a little bit longer it'll actually come back around again. Um, but we will see that the sun right now is again at a very low minimum and we'll we don't know when when it will continue to rise again normally it's a pretty reasonable 11 year cycle however the last cycle was kind of stretched out by a few years so we're uncertain uh, we only have a few hundred years of data on the solar cycle since sunspots were first observed by a Galileo back in the early 1600s so we've only have a limited uh, amount of time that we've studied them and the sun might have much larger cycles that we don't completely understand yet. We do know that there have been times when there have been essentially no sunspots on the sun and in fact in the early uh, uh, early after they were discovered in the uh, late 16 early 1700s there was a time called the Maunder minimum where there was a period of about 50 years where there were no sunspots on the sun hardly any sunspots appeared and it was an unusually quiet region and we now see that sunspot region coming back around uh, again and reappearing and we can also see if we compare it to what it looked like before you can see that the structure has changed a little bit so the sunspots are an active region constantly changing and constantly under uh, changing differences so that was our picture of the day for August the 19th of 2020. It was titled The Sun Rotating. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.